Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here. Welcome to MMA One on One with UFC President Dana White. How's it going, Dana? You got to be excited about this upcoming Anderson Silva Chris Weedman we match. That's what you're here to promote, as well as the girls, of course, going at it again. And um, you got to be pretty stoked coming off of that amazing fight Saturday night. Yeah, it was it was a uh, it was a great night. It's it's hard to explain. I mean, being in that arena that night was. You know, I don't know how it came across on TV, but being there was insane. It was it was one of the one of the, one of the best fights I've ever been to. And I think people, you know, anyone that spent their money on UFC, UFC pretty much always delivers. There was only two fights that were a little so-so. The rest of them were great. And I think you know people got to love MMA's unpredictability. We we didn't think that Gustafson was going to be able to take John Jones down and defend the takedowns. Hennem Burrell doing jump back sidekick knockouts. I mean, it's pretty well. Awesome, stuff. I agree, man. Hennem Burrell. I mean. The kid uh, hasn't lost in over eight years. He, uh, you know, he, he's an absolute stud. Uh, he's fun to watch. I mean, people talk about the interim title, but the guy's been beating all the guys that Cruz would be fighting. So, I mean, he's legit, and uh, hopefully Cruz gets to uh, gets to come back in the beginning of the year and, and, and fight him. I think pretty much it should be like a February kind of deadline for Cruz, kind of working on that, like January, February. If he can't set up a fight, give it to someone else. Yeah, we'll see. Yep. And. If, if, if Jones defends the title next against, um, uh, against Texera, a Glover, um, what do you think you would do with Gusta? I know I asked you in the scrum. There's a couple possibilities. I would think you could do Phil Davis. You could do Daniel Cormier. Of course, if Daniel Cormier wins. Or maybe um, Gegard Musasi would be a striking wins, fight. If he wins, if he can make the weight. Musasi's still hurt. He's going to be out for a while still. You know, I think he's six months into his knee surgery. It takes about a year for a guy to come back from that. You know, again, I don't like to predict what's, what fights are going to happen. We'll see what happens, and then we'll go from there. It's, pre- it's got to be pretty hard to think anyone else in light heavyweight could beat Gust- Gustafson at this point, other than maybe DC. We don't know what he can do if he comes down. Anything can happen on any given night. Who knows? <clears throat> yeah. Um, can, I, uh, can I break the tiny bit of news of how I bumped into you last week? Um, sure. Sure. <laughs> All right, guys, you, you guys want to be tuning into the Mindy Project, new show on Fox. I believe it's going to air November 5th or possibly a week later, Tuesday nights. Dana White makes a little cameo appearance. How is uh, the acting thing going? You keep getting called up to the big show. Yeah, it's not what I want to do, but it keeps happening. Um, you know, now that we're in, in business with Fox, you know, these guys ask me to do these things. So, uh, I've been doing it. Well, of course, I show my face a little bit, too. You know, I'm the cameo in the cameo, guys. So, <laughs> you know, I'm out there. Give me shit, whatever. Um, what do you think so far are tough and the girls and, uh, you know, Rhonda and how she's coming across and everything? You, you think that's going to be just the topper on the end of the year? It's got to be – it's a great year for you. It's guys. a great season. I mean, the season's really good. And people keep talking about the way Rhonda comes off. Mm-hmm. What did, who did you think Ronda was? What did you think Ronda was? I, every time I've been saying, you know, Ronda Rousey is mean, she's nasty, she's this. Well, she's mean and she's, <laughs> she's nasty. That's, that's, that's who she is. That's the way she is. And that's why she is who she is. I, you know, I mean, it, it, and it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you like that? Uh, you know, is it okay with you? She's off doing Expendables, I think, still in Bulgaria or Romania or something. I saw the first picture from that. So... I mean, she's, she's a superstar. She's blowing up, but, you know, there's always a possibility Misha or someone else can come around and beat her. No, that's right. It's true. I mean, um, like I said, anything can happen. Um, they hate each other. Misha, I like the, I love the first Misha-Ronda fight. Uh, it's what got me into it and what basically led to me deciding to, to bring women into the UFC. So I'm sure the second fight will be just as good. Last year was kind of the injury year. This year's going great. I mean, you've, you've had the Chris Weedman upset. You, uh, you got this amazing fight that happened between Jones and Gustafson. You got the trilogy fight of Kane and JDS, and you're finishing the year strong. You got GSP, Johnny Hendricks. This has really got to be one of the best years for really big fights. You got it's been an history. amazing year, and, and obviously the end of this year has been amazing too. Uh, the, the Gustafson uh, Jones fight was insane. Uh, I'm pumped for the uh, Cain Velasquez Jr. Dos Santos fight. Then you got Johnny Hendricks and George St. Pierre, and then obviously end the year with Weidman, Silva, and Rousey and, Tate, Rousey and Tate. So, yeah, knock on wood, it's been a great year. Everybody's been healthy. If a fight fell out, we actually ended up making another great fight. So, um, is that a Shab teaser? Brandon Shab? No, I'm just saying that. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying that it's, it's worked out that way. I mean, if you look at. You know, Pettis slid in to fight Henderson, and you know things like that have have worked out. So it's the complete opposite of last year. 
Yeah, Pettis and Josh Thompson, too. I mean, that's pretty amazing, guys. Both athletic kickers, well-rounded guys. It's a pretty darn good time to be a UFC fan. I agree. Um, anything else you want to say about the tour or anything like that? You're going all over the place the next six days? Going all over the place. That's it. What's tomorrow, New York? Or Vegas yeah. and then New York? Vegas, then New York, then Miami, Sao Paulo, and Rio. All right, guys. I'm Dan the Wolfman. Subscribe uh, to my YouTube page, please. Makes it feel warm and fuzzy inside. Go to ProMMAnow.com for all your information, and uh, I'll see you next time.